All right, welcome to the FOSDEM 2020 Distro Dev Room. Up next, we have Daniel Kuiper talking about Grub Upstream and Distro's cooperation. Thank you. Uh, uh, I will be talking about uh, what is happening in the Grub. I am uh, Daniel Kuiper. I work for Oracle, and I'm software developer and Grub Upstream maintainer. At the beginning, some legal stuff, uh, which is required by my company. So, program agenda, I will be talking uh, uh, at the beginning about graph maintenance, later I will move on to what happened uh, during last year, and I will be also discussing uh, what is uh, happening right now in the graph project. Um, later I will um, uh, discuss main points, what, what are the problems in the project, and at the end I would like to ask you what do you expect from, from, from uh, the grab uh, project. So not much has changed since last year. There are still free uh, grab maintainers, but I was uh, able to convince uh, two guys to, to join the project and support me uh, with uh, free things. Uh, Alex Rand, the, the graph, uh, decided to take over management, uh, maintenance of uh, Risk Five, and Leif uh, Lindholm uh, takes care of uh, ARM and TUFI. So I would like to thank them. Uh, to take over, to, to taking over this work. Uh, what happened uh, last year? Alexander the Graph introduced initial support for for Risk Five, and he also introduced uh, initial uh, Travis CI support uh, into the Graph. Colin Watson from Ubuntu um, finally changed uh, the method how GNU loop is integrated uh, with the Graph. It, currently, it is much easier. It is well documented how, how to update the GNULIP, and I think it is, it is the uh, largest uh, change which went uh, into, gra into the graph last year. Eric Snowbeck from Oracle uh, on the Beyond Foxy Quest uh, provided uh, OB disk driver for Spark uh, platforms. Uh, Jesus uh, added uh, small modules uh, which allows you to modify Intel MSS read writes, uh, and uh, also this function will be used in other uh, in other uh, things. After a few years, uh, Andre uh, from ARM uh, took over uh, DHCP v4 work from Andre Bozhenkov. He split dis dispatches into some logical parts. And we finally got uh, native uh, full support for DHCP v4. Uh, we still have uh, support for boot P. Does anybody here uh, use boot P in their networks? Nobody. But we still have a support for boot P. <laughs> uh, John, uh, at some point, uh, realized that uh, bin utils folks decided to drop out support for a uh, out. Uh, for uh, Spark 64, and uh, he tried to convince uh, Benutis guys to get it back, but it wasn't possible. He so he started thinking how to get back uh, uh, Spark 64 support uh, for, uh, into the uh, into the grub. And uh, fortunately, uh, it uh, it was quite easy. The patch was uh, pretty small, surprisingly, and currently we have uh, uh, we have uh, Spark 64 support uh, uh, into the graph um, uh, back. Uh, just before 2.04 release, Michael from SUSE realized that it is not possible to buy, uh, build. Uh, a grab with uh, GCC 9, uh, so uh, he provided a set of patches which uh, fixed uh, this issue, and uh, currently it is possible to, to use GCC 9 to buy, buy the grab. At the end of, uh, uh, sorry, at the beginning of this uh, this year, uh, Patrick introduced a LAX2 support into the grab, so we are able to uh, read uh, encrypted. Uh, Encrypted uh, boot uh, partitions uh, from the from the grab directly, and uh, we had a 2.04 release uh, in the middle of uh, last year, uh, and um, it took most of these uh, features which are current, which are listed on this slide, and uh, also plenty of fixes and cleanups. What's happening right now? The biggest thing which we are working on is a uh, trench boot project. Uh, and uh, currently, we are doing two things in parallel. In parallel, 
uh, me uh, is focusing on TXT implementation for, for the GRAP. Uh, I had, uh, had, had a nice presentation together with Piotr from FreeMDEP uh, about this work. Uh, and uh, um, yesterday, uh, and uh, FreeMDEP is focusing on AMD SKE init implementation uh, uh, for the GRAP. I hope that I will be able to release uh, the RFC for Intel TXT at the turn of February and uh, March. Uh, and uh, on top of that, uh, AMD SK init implementation will be uh, merged. Uh, we are going to do that in that way because we think that uh, there will be uh, a lot of common parts between uh, these two uh, f uh, features provided by different co companies. Uh, finally, I was able to uh, convince uh, Red Hat folks to forward port all uh, patches which are uh, carried in Fedora uh, and, sorry, uh, f to forward port uh, to upstream all patches carried in Fedora uh, and Red Hat. And uh, here I would like to convince other uh, distros to do the same because currently it is difficult to, at least for, for example for Red Hat, to merge upstream uh, with, uh, with uh, new, re new releases because they carry a lot of uh, different patches. Also, it is difficult for us because uh, there we, we got some questions about things which uh, currently are not upstream and uh, this uh, creates a lot of confusion. Uh, also, Red Hat plans to introduce uh, um, uh, Linux KXEC usage to load another uh, OS uh, from, from, from the Grab. Uh, it means that uh, Grab will run uh, from small uh, mm, small um, like Euroot environment, and it, it will use KXEC to, KXEC to start a new operating system. Uh, at the, the end of last year, I met with friends that folks, and we also discussed uh, some uh, interesting features. For example, a redundant grab environment file. Uh, it uh, will be, it can be used uh, by some embedded devices to safeguard. Up upgrades and currently it is not possible to do that safely so for example if you if something um, bad happens uh, bad happens during the upgrade uh, then uh, uh, after a reboot machine were not able to start or something like that so this uh, environment file uh, and how it works uh, it, sh it, sh it should be improved uh, Post also are looking for TPM 2.0 support in le legacy uh, systems. Currently, there is a TPM driver in the grab, but uh, it, it uses uh, EFI calls, so it depends on EFI structure. Uh, but not system, uh, not all systems, especially embedded systems, provide UFI, so it is not possible to use uh, uh, this TPM feature on non-UFI system. Uh, there, is also some, there was also some discu discussion about uh, Python integration with the Grab. Uh, this can be some. Uh, this can be surprising for some people, but uh, it, it is used for some firmware validation tools, uh, and it, I think that this is quite interesting usage uh, for, for Python. Uh, we are also planning a Grab 2.06 release uh, this year. Uh, we are going to freeze the code around March, and uh, the release um, probably no later than, than uh, in June. Uh, starting from now, we are planning to release uh, the Grab yearly if uh, our infrastructure uh, and our um, in general infrastructure and, and uh, policy how we maintain the Grab improve. Uh, of course, we are able to. Uh, make th that release uh, says, uh, more, more, more often. Currently, all patches which are posted on the mailing list are at least bile tested. So we do not accept any patches which broke any uh, any target, any platform uh, which is uh, uh, which is provided uh, uh, which is uh, provided by the by the grab. As I, as I said, uh, we are working on new code uh, review and t test system. I hope that uh, we will be able to announce the details by the end of this year and next year 
uh, we will be able to use it uh, in, 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 uh, as a replacement uh, uh, for, for the grab the well list or, uh, or something like that. Uh, we also dis uh, uh, we are also uh, discussing a Linux kernel uh, UFI boot protocol unification for all targets. Uh, currently, right now, mm, the problem is that uh, x86 boot protocol uh, on the UFI mm, mostly reminds something which uh, which was used on bi uh, legacy BIOS uh, machines. Uh, it simply does not use uh, load uh, file, uh, sorry, not load file, load, load image, uh, start image calls from, from UFI, and uh, things is completely different on ARM, RISC V, etc. As far as I can tell, uh, this, uh, both platforms use, use just uh, uh, UFI calls to uh, load and execute uh, PE binary. So we are thinking to uh, change this booter protocol and make it common for all platforms which uh, which use uh, UFI uh, as a, as a, call it as a firmware. Uh, this, is the, this discussion just started, so I'm not able to provide uh, uh, any details. We have some rough idea right now, so, but I hope that we will have uh, something, in, in a few, uh, something uh, to present in quite good stage uh, in, a few, in a few months, maybe, maybe faster. And finally, uh, we are planning to admit officially that Grab upstream is not able to support 62 sec sectors MBR Grab on uh, A36, uh, uh, X86, uh, X86 PC targets. Sorry. <laughs> uh, mm, this uh, issue comes up uh, from time to time uh, uh, on Grab Devel, and uh, some people try, or some distros try to solve that problem by cutting out some, some features, for example. As far as I can tell, it, mm, somebody tried recently to uh, cut off uh, support for, for uh, one of uh, um, less uh, com more, more, uh, less common file systems. So I think this is not a good idea, uh, and uh, mm, we have because uh, there will be more and more features. The core image will be larger and larger. Uh, and at some point, we simply will not able to cut anything from this uh, core image. So uh, we are going to finally say in the documentation that we we are we are not going uh, to support uh, the small ambient ambient gaps. Probably we we su will suggest uh, using uh, ambient gaps uh, larger than um, uh, one kilo uh, uh, one kilo sectors or just simply use uh, GPT with BIOS boot partition. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a su suggested uh, solution, and uh, it, worth rem uh, it is worth mentioning here that, that GPT partitions uh, work, without any, uh, uh, work without any issues on legacy BIOS platforms. If you have a BIOS boot partition on G GPT, you are able to boot the, the crap or any, anything uh, which supports the, the BIOS boot partitions directly on the BIOS uh, um, system. Uh, does this thing create any issues for, for you? Or we can drop it and you do, do, will not complain? In Ubuntu, we never force people to upgrade to Grub 2 from Grub 1, so from time to time we still have machines on Grub 1. So, yeah, we don't care. Okay, uh, uh, the note uh, from Ubuntu guy, uh, uh, from Ubuntu yeah. was, was note that uh, uh, they uh, do not allow to upgrade uh, from the grab. We didn't force people to upgrade. Do they, uh, you don't, do not force people to upgrade from grab one to grab two, so they think this is not a problem for them. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> uh, we will see. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Uh, pain points. So there are, we are still fighting with the problem that uh, uh, we, we do not have uh, uh, enough throughput to review all patches, and there, is, uh, there are, in my opinion, huge delays on the mailing list because I'm not allowed to uh, spend all my time on, on maintaining uh, Grab. I would like to do that, but currently it is not possible. 
Uh, so I would like to ask you to, uh, to uh, if you are able to look to, at the patches and send, uh, send at least a reviewed by or something like that, it will be helpful for me. Uh, if you know somebody uh, who uh, knows um, the graph quite well or something, or, or would like to know something uh, in the graph, that will, that will be perfect. Uh, uh, also, we still would like to improve uh, the cooperation with distros and other interested pa parties. Uh, as I said, currently we are uh, in quite good cooperation with, uh, with Red Hat, uh, so we are very happy. And there are two problems which appear from, uh, from time to time on, on the mailing list, that people start posting patches, and s after uh, a few uh, exchanges of, uh, of the emails, they disappear from the mailing list. This is, this is annoying because, let's say, I uh, spent my time reviewing patches, and uh, after that, uh, we simply uh, lose the feature, I lost my time reviewing, reviewing the process, and I'm not able to take over this patch, uh, to take over the work on this patch. So I lose my time, we lose features. So please do not do that. And uh, from time to time, it seems that some people do not carefully read uh, uh, the maintenance comments. Uh, so they, uh, I send some replies. Uh, with my comments, and uh, after after um, uh, that, I receive the new version of the patches. But uh, I see that some uh, comments are not taken into the account. So this is also annoying, and uh, please do not do that because this doesn't help. And recently, I got um, uh, I found out that some people start uh, working on new feature. That's nice. But they are stonky, uh, they, they start that work on the, uh, not on the grab stream, but they start work on the specific grab version which is in the distro. This is crazy. Especially if, grace, if uh, the distro carries tons of, uh, uh, tons of patches uh, which are not forward ported to upstream. Uh, so I would like to uh, encourage you, if you would like to provide new features, start your work on Grab Upstream. If you need some features which are n uh, needed for your work from a specific distro, please forward port uh, uh, this feature first into the Grab Upstream and then start work. I've, uh, of course, it takes time, but I think that it will make uh, my uh, uh, life as an upstream maintainer easier and also uh, grab up, uh, grab uh, distro maintainers easier. Uh, and I think that's it. And I would like to start the discussion. What do you care about in the in the grab project? What is important for you uh, right now? Um, I outlined our our um, work plan. Let's say for 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 a year. Uh, is it okay for you? Do you think that we should change something in general after discussion for uh, with, with various people, uh, I think that we should focus on, uh, on the system which is a review uh, process and also is uh, automatic uh, mm, tests of grab and all patches which were provided to the grab. So I'm looking for questions. Yep, sure. Um, just, just about kind of your last point. Um, if you've got... This one. Oh. This distribution have users and customers, you know, if they have to deliver new features to their users and to their customers by a certain time for, let's say, promotion, right, is it really that, un, you know, that wrong that they work on their code base when doing it upstream because of your throughput issues, they can't, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to get it in Grub for a year? Uh, okay, uh, the question was... Uh, as I understand it correctly, uh, does it make sense to work uh, or I agree that uh, maybe it is better if uh, a distro works on, on the new feature instead of on, uh, on, on, the, on the grab uh, distro specific version instead of grab upstream and uh, does it, act, I, I accept it. I, I, I understood correctly. Uh, yeah, my, my point Crazy that yes, distributions yes. were uh, not working upstream on new features. Yeah. If a distribution 
have to get a new feature out by a certain time, uh, isn't it crazy to ask them to work upstream because you're, you have a throughput problem? Like, like, you know, there's two sides to this coin. I just wanted to kind of put the other side on the table. Oh, okay. Understand, I understand, uh, uh, as I understood correctly, you are saying that if they are forced uh, by customers to have a new feature in, in, in the, uh, in the uh, specific distro, um, I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay, but I, I would like to ask you to, uh, let's say, as, as soon as possible to, uh, to forward these patches. Uh, to the grab upstream. I'm not able to uh, forbid you to work on a, on a specific grab upstream. Okay, but I would like to convince you to not do that. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, from, from the last row. One trick related. How about uh, making the release phase uh, more quicker, like uh, mm. two, two releases per year? Uh, yes, uh, first of all, uh, uh, the question was, uh, is it possible to uh, uh, shorten the, uh, the release cadence, right? Um, uh, yes, currently, yes and no. <laughs> uh, it, it will be possible if we have a new review system and uh, we, have, uh, we will have uh, some system which automates the testing of, of, of the grab. So I'm considering that. that. I hope that it will happen year, year no later, uh, and then uh, we will uh, consider uh, shortening the, uh, the cadence of release. Uh, sure. Um, um, you mentioned um, that on the system you tried to access TPM. Excuse me? On the UAT system you tried to access the TPM check for some security reasons. <laughs> So is this something that, for instance, in Ubuntu should be also implemented as a protocol that you would want to consume? Uh, the question was uh, that I mentioned during my presentation that there is a TPM uh, implementation in the GRAP which use UEFI features. Uh, and the question is, uh, do I suggest that Ubuntu should provide these UEFI calls to have a, uh, to ha to have a TPM? If you would like to have a better, in, uh, better uh, um, security infrastructure uh, in the U-boot, I think that it makes sense to, to, uh, to, to have that uh, feature. But I'm not sure how, it, how is it complicated to have that in U-boot because as, I, uh, as far as I can tell, U-boot is focused on uh, embedded systems. So it can, it can it, not only, okay. But U-Boot also has uh, some TPM drivers, that's why I was asking. So I think, uh, so I think that my, uh, if you would like to use TPM infrastructure in the GRAB, it makes sense to expose this uh, uh, TPM uh, via FE calls to the GRAB. Does it reply to uh, your question? Okay. Uh, okay. There are a few issues with this GRAB configuration file. Right now, there are GUI uh, configuration and uh, kernel loading configuration as a certain one single file, and it, it is very complicated to manage, if, uh, especially if the file is signed <coughs> and uh, the kernel is updated, the file needs to be regenerated when the GUI stays the same. Uh, what I'm saying, uh, maybe it is a point to separate these two things, the menu configuration and the and, and, and kernel uh, configuration. And the question is uh, how to upgrade the system if, uh, uh, for example, you take measurement of uh, configuration file, configuration uh, command light of, of the kernel or something like that. Uh, yeah, yes? Yes, and it's also a proposal to separate maybe to the, the menu part of the configuration. And uh, what do you mean menu, menu part? Do you mean generic configuration of... I, I mean uh, all these menu entries uh, that sit in the... Uh, the UI, the, the, the UI. screen. Ah, oh, okay. The <laughs> they, they highlight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right? So, so and, and then repeating it for every menu. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. Uh, I understand. Uh, <laughs> in, gen in general, this is. Uh, it is. It it goes into a larger topic in general because. Uh, if you would like, if you measure your system and you and then after that upgrade your system, then you have much more problems than just upgrade, uh, than just updating the measurements of, of the grab configuration. You have to also upgrade the measurements of uh, the kernel, initRD, etc., etc. Uh, 
uh, we are working uh, on some uh, dynamic root of trust uh, systems uh, in the Oracle, and we in, at initial phase of uh, this work, uh, we are aware that at some point we may meet that, these issues, but currently we don't have any uh, good idea how to, how to solve. Uh, so we have some rough ideas. Uh, but uh, we don't have good ideas how to solve uh, this problem. So the time is up. I will be outside. You can catch me and uh, chat uh, if you need. Thanks a lot, guys.